Hello and welcome back to UK Highland Photography here on YouTube, the channel dedicated to helping you to become a better photographer. Today we're going to be talking about what colour space is in photography. So let's begin. Colour space can affect your photographs in different ways. For example, colour space can affect the way your photograph does look like on a computer's monitor, or it could affect the way that your photographs do look like when they're printed on a sheet of A4 photo paper. So let's have a look at colour space in more detail then. If you have a look here, then you'll be able to see a colour space chart. This chart contains some of the colour profiles it is that we photographers do work with in photography. For example, here is the sRGB colour profile. And here is the Adobe RGB colour profile. So what is a colour profile? A colour profile is simply just a mathematical representation of how many colours there are contained within each colour profile. For example, there's less shades of green in the sRGB colour profile when you compare it to the amount of green shades there is in the Pro Photo RGB colour profile. So as you can see, different colour profiles do contain more shades or less shades of colour than other colour profiles. So just to clarify, clarify this, let's have a look at it again in more detail. Here we can see the colour profile and the space of the colours that the SRGB profile does have. It's a pretty small space. Wouldn't you agree? Now this is the space of colours that are in the Adobe RGB colour space colour profile. As you can see, it is a slightly bigger space. And finally, here's the colour space of the Pro Photo RGB colour profile. As you can see, this colour profile has far more shades of colours than other two profiles. So now that you understand what profiles are, then you also need to know that certain colour profiles affect certain photography equipment. For example, let's say that you photoshopped a photograph in the Pro RGB profile and then you press the print button, then there's a strong chance that the photograph is going to come out of the printer looking different in colour from the colours it is that you do see on the screen. This is because your printer perhaps only uses the Adobe RGB profile or the sRGB profile and it doesn't know any of these shades of colours outside these two profiles. And instead, it's not only taking a guess at the shades of colours it is that you want in the Pro RGP colour profile. So there you have it people. There was our introduction into what colour profiles are in photography. Please subscribe to our channel and when you get the time check out our online shop over at www.ukhighland.com.